Welcome to Video Animation Class with Seclemental. Our topic for today is Element and Scene Hierarchy. We will talk about elements. We mean your characters that are those characters are inserted into your canvas. For example, we have the text, the roles, we have the SVGs and effects. And when we talk about the scene, the characters are found the characters when you want to get the characters, you go to the your right hand side panel and you check, you see images and um, shapes and anything that you want today you can see different characters or elements as you can call it you can also call it object so those are the names for your elements okay for the scene scenes are the, the different canvas that you you insert like the different time frame that you insert into your canvas we have different types of scene here different scene in this video we have up to like six scene in this video when, you, when we talk about the hierarchies in animes hierarchy when you start inserting your elements or your scene into your canvas that's the way that they are being arranged orderly for example let's quickly go into how we can arrange these uh, elements and scene accordingly okay so i'll insert a new scene i'll click on new scene and insert a blank scene then uh, let me change the background color this background color i want to use something like this okay now the first thing that i want to do is to insert a text that's my first element that i'm inserting the text so i will write the scene let me change the color to black and click ok so now when you look at the timeline you will see scene this is the first thing that i've inserted into the canvas so it's the first thing that will appear on your canvas that's the first thing that will appear on your timeline okay the next thing i want to insert is a shape and this shape i will go to my rectangle and go and insert this rectangle here this rounded rectangle let me reduce the size okay, i think it's looking like this and you can see the rec the rounded rectangle up comes up comes above the scene because that's the second thing that i inserted then the last thing that i will insert here is an image so let me go and insert this chair from my local from my desktop so this is the chair that i've inserted and when you look at the timeline you see the image here here also that is being inserted as a pen here for example if i carry this my re rounded rectangle here and keep on top of this scene you see the scene you can't see the scene no how do i bring this scene in front remember the scene is the first thing that i brought into and inserted into the canvas and it's and it's hidden so how do i bring it up it's for me to go to this this up arrow and say bring forward now if i carry bring click bring forward if i go to this scene first of all you select on the scene and you click bring forward and you see it appears here and you can see it here the scene appears above on top of the is stuck on top of the, the rectangle now if i want to bring it back i'll just go to this other arrow this down arrow and say and click on it and it goes back now there i can also right click on this there's another method that you can use once you right click on it and you go to layer and you say send backward once you click on it send backward it goes to the back while this scene comes on top the same thing here also if i carry this chair and keep on top you see the chair is at the back but i can still go here and also let me say bring forward bring forward bring forward okay let's see it is now on top of the rectangle so that's your hierarchy okay now let me arrange it accordingly how i inserted it now this is the scene and the rectangle and the chair so that's the, the hierarchy hierarchy is just how you insert you insert your different elements into your canvas how they are being arranged when you want to stack those elements into you when you want to stack them on top of another element so that's when this your hierarchy comes handy yeah okay now let's go to the scene how do we stack up the the scene for example as you can see the last scene that is displayed here but if i click on preview you will see it starts playing let it load you play from but if i don't want it to play from this i want it to play this last scene what i will need to do is just to go to move up selected scene and first of all you have to select your scene once you select it you click on move up and you move it to the top once you have moved it to the top let's check if it's at the top as scene one yes it's at the top that's scene one now let's preview it okay you see it's now it now played from the first scene 
now you can still arrange it and still bring it back to whatever that you want you want to carry it back okay let's click select it and move down selected scene now it has gone back to the second scene so that's how you arrange or stack up your elements on animes so that's just the simple method of hierarchy arranging your elements and scene accordingly to the way that you want as an animator you really need, need to know how to arrange your elements as scene and scene accordingly so see you in the next video we have come to the end of our today's class so our next topic will be on camera and multiple camera to scene we are going to see how we can add multiple cameras to our scene so we have been using only the default camera so we want to add multiple camera to our scene so see you and thank you for watching remember if you are a new subscriber on this channel make sure you click on the subscription button and make sure you hit on the bell icon to get my new videos that I upload every day. Thank you. Remember, we are Sir Clement Hope. Stay safe.